If you see enough children in the Indonesian village of Lambada, you'll soon realize few of them are older than 10. That's because 10 years ago, a tsunami killed most of the kids in this village. It also wiped out the village where this boy lived. Martunas had been playing soccer on the beach when the waves hit the shore. He was found three weeks later, somehow still alive. He still owns the Portugal jersey he was found in. I was alone in the sea for 21 days and I was alone there and I saw dead bodies around me and I ate what I found in the sea. The images from 10 years ago were startling, but few could really show the scale of the devastation. More than 1.7 million people displaced, more than 227,000 believed to have died. For weeks, photos of the missing and lists of names papered bulletin boards in Thailand. Many of these people were never found. The third largest earthquake ever recorded, measured at a magnitude of 9.1, is believed to have displaced several feet of water across 600 miles of the Indian Ocean floor. The resulting wave grew to be massive, drawing water away from the shore before hammering the coastlines of 14 countries in Southeast Asia. A second wave would follow, moving even farther inland. The resulting damage was incomprehensible. Ten years later, the damage has been cleaned up and homes have been rebuilt, but the emotional and psychological scars remain. I'm Andrew Spencer, reporting.